Okay, before we get started, I did mention in the last lecture that I was going to delete this example space, and I am. So let's come down here. If you created it along with me, here in your panel, right click on it and choose delete space. And I should be back to my primary space here where I just have these Google tabs that I had opened. Um, this should be my instructor profile. And as I promised you, what we're going to do here is we're going to do a little bit more with the navigation panel. Now, you probably have noticed I've been fast tracking it when I've been going to do searches by doing the command T shortcut to open tabs. But I'm going to come up here right now to our search or URL navigation bar to kind of walk you through a couple of really cool features. So first and foremost, we're going to do something super simple and we're just going to type in www.google.com. Okay. So I typed in Google, and you'll notice that it populates down here in this tab section under this line. Okay, so the current tab that you're accessing or the current content you're accessing usually is highlighted in ARC. So for example, if I create another tab and I go to YouTube, notice YouTube has this kind of elevated status here in my tabs to let me know this is what I'm looking at. And the URL and navigation that pertains to the tab that's currently active can be found up here. Now you'll notice that this changed state when I initially had nothing here. This just says search or enter URL. But the second I enter content and I navigate somewhere, this changes. So again, ARC is very big on iconography and conveying intent as well as function to you through icons. Down here we had the library, we had the add or open or create new button that we'll talk through a little bit later. And here in the navigation pane, we've got these two icons. So let's start with this one. Now I'm sure you're working on mobile devices, you're probably very used to the share button, right? You go somewhere, you find like a super cool article or a piece of internet content, you want to share it with a friend, and you're going to go ahead and tap on that share button. Well, in modern browsers, you can go find the share button, um, but there can be a couple of other things that make it a little tricky when it comes to actually sharing that content and verifying that you're actually sharing what you want to share, or the share button can sometimes be on the opposite side of the browser. Well, here in Arc, there's this unique and very useful copy mechanism. So here, if you just click on this, it copies the URL of whatever you're currently on in that tab so that you can very quickly create a duplicate tab or send it to someone. So just as an example, let's say that I went to YouTube and I did a search for um, cellular respiration, right? Okay, so I found all these videos that have cellular respiration and I want to copy that so that I have it somewhere. So I click on this to copy, come to new tab, and when I open my new tab, bam, I'm already on the results page for cellular respiration. So this makes it super simple to do that. Okay, so that's the first icon. And again, it gives you this shortcut, Shift-Command-C, we'll copy that as well. But over here, there's also this really unique thing called Site Control Center. And this has some really cool features. So let's click on that and see what happens. So when we click on it, we've got a couple of options. There's our nifty share button. So we can very quickly share this with a friend. Here, we have what's called creating a boost. Here, we can capture a portion of this page. And here, we can capture the full page. So by using this control panel here, if I wanted to capture a portion of the page, I can literally hover on various pieces of content. And when I find the content I want to capture, I can just click on it. And then I can choose to save to library, copy it, save it, send it via iMessage, edit it, retake it, or add it to a new easel. So you can probably see as a student, you can very quickly start creating notes using pictures and pieces of web content that you find on the web with ARC. It's incredibly useful, okay? So I'm gonna hit escape because I don't actually wanna copy or capture any portion of the screen just yet. And then I'm going to come back up here and we're going to look at this final option here. And that is if I want to capture the full page. So here, if I wanted to capture the full page, I can click this and it will uh, screenshot, will copy it first to clipboard. And then if I want to share it, I can click this. If I want to save it to my computer, I just click save and boom, I now have the screenshot. 
So let's see what other features we have here tied to the URL bar, okay? So let's click on this control panel here. If you've got any browser extensions, this is where they're going to be added. Um, so here I don't have any browser extensions currently added. Here, for the website you're currently on, you can turn notifications on or off. Super simple. If you're a developer, you can turn developer mode on or off. And then here's the really cool thing. Let's say I'm going to go ahead and mute so you don't have to listen to the video, but let's say I start watching this video, right? So I'm on YouTube, I'm watching this video, but I navigate away to a different tab. Arc automatically does picture in picture. So it's going to keep the window going while I'm over here looking up content in Google. Uh, in Google, I'm going to be able to continue watching and listening to this video in real time. And if I want to go back to the tab where the video is playing, I just click back to tab and boom, I'm right back there. And that is picture in picture, which I can enable or I can turn off. Okay. And then finally, additional options that you might want to have with Arc, like clearing cache, clearing cookies, managing any boosts you create, which I'm not going to talk about right now, extensions, and then also all site settings can be handled through these ellipses. So I think you can already see the versatility and flexibility that Arc offers just with its navigation bar and how robust this is in terms of features. Okay, so that's the navigation bar. In the next lecture, what we're going to start talking about more in depth are these spaces and how to organize them. All right, so I'll see you there.